Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome to AMS Live. My name is Boy. It is a Friday afternoon and I'm standing alongside the runway 27. Currently the only runway in use for arrivals. Started a little early. It was a race against the clock. We are expecting the A380 Super from Emirates in a couple of minutes. It's already over Dutch airspace and I think in 10 or 15 minutes she will land in front of us. Evan, good day, good morning. Yeah, good morning, early morning still there in California. How are you doing, my man? I'm doing well. Hope you're doing well too. Gisela, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are all doing well. So at the moment, we have wind blowing from the northwest. Which is why these airplanes are now landing on runway 27. It's facing west directly, so there's a little bit of crosswind from the right. At the time I was setting up for the Kaagbaan and runway 36 left, the Polderbaan were both in use for departures. Although earlier during the day it was only runway 24. Now, wind-wise, it isn't particularly windy, as I'm trying to check if the app, the chat on my phone is updating, I'm thinking it might be stuck. Let's have a look in a few minutes. First, Iceland Air coming in from Reykjavik, flight 500. that they sent to the Netherlands instead of the MAX 737 MAX or the Pencil, the 757 uh, Let me see is the live chat working on my phone Hey, Droog Beer. Good afternoon, welcome. Let me double check. Are all messages coming in? By the looks of it, that is the case. Just double checking. Is this live chat or top chat? Let's see. Well, for some reason I'm not able to... Oh yeah, ah, there it is, top chat, yep. Change that to live chat. And now I should be seeing all messages on my phone as well. Hey there Miran, goeiemiddag. Hope you're doing well buddy. So, just in time folks, there she is. The king, Emirates. A380 Super, inbound from Dubai. This one in the Journey to the Future livery, if I recall correctly. I had a look on flight radar before leaving the house. When I was running late, I had some phone calls and other things to attend to this morning. So it was a little bit a struggle against the, uh, the clock to make sure that I was here in time for you guys to see. Fortunately, 
just in time. So there isn't a whole lot of wind, not a lot of crabbing going on. Certainly don't expect any go arounds with the current wind. I was a little surprised to learn that today 27 was in use for arrivals, but there you go. Journey to the future livery, beautiful. As you can see the windsock, there is crosswind from the right in the orientation that the planes are now landing in. It's not a whole lot. If you look over here in the canal that I'm standing along, there is a little bit of wind, not a whole lot. The birds are even able to stream to swim upstream, so not too bad. Zoom in a bit more quickly. There we go. Yorkshire Biker, good afternoon. Mario said. Good afternoon, guten tag. Herzlich willkommen. YouTube fan, good afternoon. Hope you guys are all doing well. Line Shack, good day. Welcome back. Good to see you. Hope everybody is doing well. Now in all honesty I was hoping for a little bit more wind than is currently blowing because where I'm standing you don't feel a lot uh, of wind. I was hoping to be able to test my DIY hopefully solution for the crackling issue that I was having still with my microphone. When you blow softly onto the microphone, then the crackling starts. When you blow hard, you just hear the rumble that you hear when there's wind. So it's only minor airflow that causes the crackling for some reason. I don't know why and if, whether if it's because it's broken or if it's just inherent to the design of the microphone. So I found I found a solution in the form of a microfiber pouch that I was having, was, was still lying around the house that once protected ski goggles. So it's synthetic microfiber, thin yet strong. So I put that around the microphone tube and then I placed the 
that cat furry uh, wind jammer over it provides some additional barrier for the wind to slow down and dissipate against and also should there be any leaks between the microphone tube and the uh, the furry dead cat on the rear side of the tube which I also think might be a possibility the microfiber pouch fits around the entire microphone so also the back side is now more protected from the wind To, to say with certainty if it's going to work or not but who knows while setting up I didn't hear any crackling hopefully you guys are also experiencing no crackling today I am a little bit more exposed not standing behind the electricity house that I nor normally am standing behind when I'm uh, filming from this location there was already somebody who was filming over there I think also live streaming Hey there, Jose, goedemiddag. Good to see you. Noah says that the sound is excellent. I'm very glad to hear that. Hopefully the volume is decent as well. While I was setting up and was listening with my, uh, my earphones in to monitor the volume levels, I thought it was a little bit soft. You're also standing a bit further away from the runway over here than when you're standing alongside the, run the polder bomb. So I did increase the mic volume in the camera somewhat. Airplanes are always quieter when they land than when they take off, obviously. So hopefully I have found a cheap, non-invasive, low-cost, easy solution for the crackling. If it is still persisting in a few weeks, my first YouTube revenue, ad revenue and all those kind don donations so many of you have already given me in the form of super chats will be transferred and if I still have sound issues with the current mic I'm looking to upgrade, be done with it, hopefully, <laughs> obviously we'll have to find out but If I am going to upgrade, I'm seriously contemplating buying a Sennheiser MKE 600, also with, of course, the furry wind jammer. But thus far, I haven't found any reviews that were negative of, about this microphone, nor did I find any reason to not to believe that this would be a good microphone. But who knows, maybe the current setup is still viable we'll see meanwhile this Boeing 737 from smartwings.com just touched down that's a first for me I don't remember ever having seen this operator New name for me, but that doesn't say a whole lot. Hey there, Trekker Spot. Goedemiddag, Infinity. Hoi, goedemiddag. Doing well, mate. Doing well. Thijs ten Bos also checking uh, the stream from the camping. <laughs> awesome. CJ and Stoll 007. Stolly 007. Good afternoon. Hope you are all doing well. Meanwhile, there's a Dreamliner gradually and elegantly floating towards the runway threshold. Have a look at the wings. 
when the spoilers deploy you can see the flex immediately ceasing to exist and you can see how they lower instantaneously at least hopefully you guys were able to see it Well, as you guys can probably can tell, at the moment it is overcast. Yesterday we had an entire day of rain. At the moment it is just cloudy. No precipitation is predicted to come today or in the upcoming days. In fact, uh, the weather forecasts for this weekend are very good in that there uh, is going to be much more sun than today. Is the weekend over here most likely it's going to be very spring like in terms of weather also warmer temperatures are ahead of us over here in the Netherlands so really looking forward to that meanwhile this is Saudi I think if I recall correctly, this one is inbound from Jeddah. A lot of KLM Blue over at the platform area. We spoke about the Spotters Platz, the panorama deck uh, on top of the terminal building. If you look in the middle of the screen, behind the tail of the Delta A330, there is the Fokker aircraft that is uh, standing there. So if you have small children, definitely worth having a look. I'm not sure yet, I think after the pandemic, more or less blew over. Uh, I do think that the panorama deck is accessible again for visitors, although I'm not entirely sure. Maybe somebody in the chat knows with certainty. Meanwhile, more people are joining the chat. Good afternoon, Thijs. Good afternoon, CJ. Good afternoon, Arion. Renate Liepa. Good afternoon. Marvin Banda, goedemiddag, good afternoon. Yorkshire Biker says we have sun in the UK today for a change. Well, savor the moment, my friend. Is it is it also going to be sunny weather over the weekend, or do you guys are, are you guys expected to have an overcast, if not rainy, Easter this weekend? I think uh, we are still battling with a few clouds from an area of low pressure, although no more precipitation will fall out of it. Hmm, now my camera had a little difficulty focusing, going back to the ground and up again, always does the trick. All right, Norwegian, let's have a look and see who is on the tail. It is a sir with a mustache, that's for sure. Now, on my little three-inch screen, I wasn't able to read the name. Undoubtedly, if I look back 
this stream when I get home. I will be able to see it on the bigger screen. But he sure as hell did have an impressive mustache, that's for sure. And Guido DH says that uh, it is open, referring to the panorama deck. So that's good to hear. The restaurant is still closed though. Okay, so that's a pity. Although, when you go inside the terminal building, there are of course many restaurants and locations where you can eat and have coffee and whatnot. Okay, and hey there Paul, good afternoon. Welcome back, good to see you again. Hope you're doing well, mate. So, multitasking is a little difficult for me. <laughs> if I look down to my telephone where I can see the live chat from you guys, I have to look away from the camera and especially if I'm zoomed in, I lose the subject quickly. Even though my phone is only 30 centimeters away from my camera, I still have to look away. I'm doing well, Paul. I'm doing well. Easter weekend is almost there. Weather over here is promising to, be, to become better, even a bit more sunny again, like it was on Monday, although not clear blue skies the way it was then. Bit, bit of clouds. But it should be better. Jerry Donnelly, good morning to you, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Everybody gathering around again. Hope you guys were in time to see the A3, the Emirates A380. I went live a little sooner than the original announcement. Battling against the clock. Hoping to see if I were, would be able to go live in time. Fortunately, I did. So if you guys missed it, make sure to look back the first 10 minutes of the stream because the A380 in the Journey to the Future livery touched down in the beginning of the stream. I will time mark it once I get home when I'm done streaming, of course. But Suriname plane spotting also. Welcome, Simotra. Good afternoon. Hope you're well. Nick Meester. Goedemorgen. Oh, goedemorgen. <laughs> Goedemiddag. Good afternoon. I did already have a cup of coffee, but I think the caffeine still needs some time to do its thing. A lot of people tuning in from the United States, even from the west part of the United States. So it's nine hours earlier. So when I greeted them, I was saying good morning to them. But over here, of course, it is afternoon already. Roadhog, goedemiddag. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Welcome back. Good to see so many familiar names in the chat. Opie, aloha, good morning. Also someone who tunes in from a location to the west of us where it's still early. Now, let's have a look. Here is a private jet or business jet on arrival. At the moment, they are still allowed to land on Schiphol over the last week. New rules were announced by Schiphol. They have the intention of closing the airfield Schiphol for flights during the night. They are also planning on banning business jets. So beautifully liveried small planes like these might soon be a thing of the past. Obviously the airline airliners in the Netherlands already said that they didn't agree with it. So they will probably fight things out in court and it's probably going to get delayed before they actually implement it, but it is something that they announced earlier this day. Goeiemorgen, is deze morgen Rick. So, 
Willem, goedemiddag. He's checking in from Tenerife. Probably a bit sunnier and a bit warmer than over here. Definitely not a bad location to be spending Easter in. Transavia's many 737s and there is a 350 from Delta seems to be seems to have been pushed back or is about to be pushed back I think it's already pushed back probably off to taxi to the Polderbahn for departure to the United States somewhere Smotra is going to the Polderbahn tomorrow. That's a very good choice. Always something to see, always something to do. If it's not arrivals, then it's departures. It's really a shame that the old spotters plaats that used to be to the south of the Kaagbaan, runway 0624, that they closed it down and that they built new companies, I think logistics companies mostly. It used to be a prime location to be spotting from. Also right along the runway as I am along the Buitenveldebaan, runway 27. Now the official spotters plaats and the places to spot airplanes from are meters back at the McDonald's there's a parking lot and a McDrive most people do their spotting over there I like going a bit to the right more towards the main platform area where you have a better view in my in my opinion for watching the planes land And the second official spot plus, of course, being the one at the Polderbaan. In the meantime, a few droplets are hitting my camera. Just a light, ever so light drizzle. Probably even not visible on the weather radar. Nothing to concern myself with in terms of short circuiting and electronics. That won't happen so quickly. And Janet O agrees that the spotter's plaats at Polderbaan was a good one, definitely. Good memories. As a small child, back in the day, going there with my mom. Back in the day when there, when there were still a lot of 747s flying around and before the bankruptcy of Northwest when KLM and Northwest had an alliance together you also saw a lot of MD-11s from Northwest flying in There's Martin Air also still operating the MD-11s and KLM itself of course 767s seven, as well. Of course, these days it's all A330s, Dreamliners, and triples. So let's have a look at flight radar. Still a couple of planes inbound back to back, first one being Vueling A320 inbound from Alicante.
down the lens on my screen seems that there is an Embraer 175 from KLM after that before leaving the house I did see that there were still quite a few heavies underway not sure if we will be seeing any more queens there were a couple but I think they landed earlier although I did well of course we already saw one just behind the A380 so the king and queen together closely together at least let's have a look so first up will be an Embraer 175 inbound from Darlington and there will be another Vueling A320 Neo albeit coming behind that inbound from Valencia let me zoom out a bit further. Uh, it seems now that also the polar bound is used for arrivals. We are also expecting an A350 from Qatar inbound from Doha. And I also see that there is an A330 from Turkish inbound from Istanbul coming this way. But I think that one might be going to the polar bound. It's one of those days where there is not a very pronounced wind and Schiphol can use runways at random, more or less. So I'm hoping that we are able to continue to see arrivals take place over here. Particularly if there is no, not, a, not a very pronounced wind blowing I've had it happen several times before already that I was standing here and after an hour of streaming traffic dried up because they opened other runways now there is a website that basically says what the expected runway usage for later the, on that day will be and it said that uh, Runway 27 will be used for arrivals throughout the afternoon. Now, it seems that at the moment different runways are also opened. So fingers crossed that it's only temporary that there is going to be a continued flow of inbound planes for runway 27. This location has in common with standing along the border bound and if all of a sudden the runway gets closed we're not in an optimal location to see traffic from other runways unless of course they are going to use one aid left for departures. In that case, they will be visible relatively well from over here. So it's always exciting. Meanwhile, more people have joined the chat. Peter van der Eyck, goedemiddag, good afternoon. Ina B, guten tag, herzlich willkommen. Hope you're doing well. Doodle Man and Night Rider Bus Driver and Eckhart Langebach, good afternoon my friends. Hope you guys are all doing well. Easter weekend is approaching, but unfortunately by the looks of it, the airplanes are no longer. Let me have a look at the app that shows the current runway usage. And it seems that we are in bad luck people. So where, one eight, uh, where three six left was used for departures when I was setting up, it is now used for arrivals together with three six right. So landing airplanes in opposite directions. Departures take place from runway two four still. <laughs> 
So once again, going to this location when it isn't storming, uh, when it isn't full, is, when there is no no full blown storm active, has proven to be a risk once again. So we're now 30 minutes or so in, <laughs> and already the runway has closed. Well, it's still early. So, let me see what the updates for the, the runway usage for today are going to be. It's always, always a bit of a gamble over here with Schiphol and the runway usage. So the wind is still blowing mostly from the east. Bear in mind, and now the arrivals take place in opposite directions and more or less 90 degrees vis-a-vis -vis the wind. It's an interesting choice. And there is no update on the uh, website that shows the runway usage. Let's see, it is now 140 one approximately. So yeah, the website is giving false information in that respect. <laughs> yeah, somebody give Skipple a call and make them use runway 27 again. Exactly, by the time I am Backed in, back to my car, and over to the to the polder bomb, and set up again. It is going to be a bit later. Now, I don't think that it's going to reopen again anytime soon. It, they typically don't shut the runway down for just 10 minutes and then reopen it again, unless of course they're doing maintenance or something, or do a round with the. bird controllers but I'm looking around and I don't see anything. I do see a queen in the distance that is taxiing to runway 24 for takeoff. Let me see if I can show you guys. Uh, where is it? There it is. We see the Suparna 747 in the background and over to the right there's a DHL banana. Now obviously from over here there's not a lot we can see from the actual departure. We're too far away and also after the first minute or so the airplane is going to disappear behind the main terminal building and the gates in, f in the foreground. If I look a bit to the left, I can just about make out that an A320 from EasyJet has landed, or A319, bit hard to see from over here. Also, planes landing on 18 right are also only visible once they have already touched down and are taxiing to the gate. Now the Air China Cargo airplane, you can see at least the initial part. Yeah, yeah, the Blick. Who is Jack? AK Boy. Boy. Yeah. What's your name? Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. Sorry? I come from Lisse, from the Oorsprong. No, 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 Lisse. Keukenhof. Oh, Keukenhof. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Yeah. Leuk, man. But, uh, Ja, verkeerde timing. Dit is uh, de boel gaat weer dicht hier. Oké. Okay. Hoe lang heb je dit gedaan? Sorry? Hoe lang heb je dit gedaan? Hoe lang heb je dit gedaan? Nu? Ja, ik ben nu 40 minuten live. Nee, ik voor voor YouTube. Sorry? Van YouTube. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja. ja, ja. ja. Vorig jaar is het uh, uh, Ik ben uh, eind november begonnen. Ja. Ja, ja. ja zeker. Mooi apparaat. Zeker, zeker. Ja, hier kun, je, hier kun je de hele dag mee uh, bezig. Ik ben vriend die van mij, ik ben Ah. Oh, wat grappig. Ja, voor de helft Ja. Oh, wat leuk. 
Ja, de, 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 ja, kun je tenminste nu net weer... Dat is voor de kanaal. Uh. Ja, precies. Ja, nee, uh, ik heb familie die daar ook niet ver van de brug woont, dus uh, oh, ja. dat uh, komt naar geregeld. Ik woon zelf woon ik meer naar Sassheim. Oh, dat vind ik Sassheim. Ja. Wat verder weg. Maar ik ben nog steeds live, ik ga eventjes uh, afronden, oh, want... Succes, Dankjewel. Oh. Ja, zo... So... Unfortunately, at the moment, from where I'm standing, not a whole lot we can do. Um... I'm thinking if it is worth still to sit up over at the polderbaan. Let's see, it's quarter to two. So maybe for one or two hours I could do a little stream after uh, going back to the car. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So. If there's anybody still interested, I am going to pack everything in. I am going to go to the polderbaan. If it's not for a whole afternoon, then at least it's going to be some more testing with my uh, pouch contraption that I thought of to mitigate the wind noise and the and the uh, the crackling. So um, and Aaron Paul makes a good makes a good suggestion. Do it for the A380 departure, maybe. I have a rather elaborate setup, so packing everything in. Oh, the departure! Yeah, but the departure is going to take place from the Kaagbaan. So unfortunately, I don't think that that is going to be. Uh, no, unfortunately, that's not that's not in the in the books for today. I am uh, looking to go back to the polderbaan. Maybe see if things uh, are a bit better over there. If I uh, don't see you guys in a minute, then uh, hopefully I will see you later during the weekend. For now, I am going to wrap it up over here because there's not a whole lot we can see from over here. We are too far removed to make for an interesting stream in my opinion. So it's better to call it a day. And I will set up again at the Polderbaan in a moment. So. If I don't see you guys over there, enjoy the weekend. Maybe see you at a later stream during the weekend. And otherwise, see you in a bit.